Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to play in lipstick. We're going to do some lipstick talk. I have 109 lipsticks here we're going to go through and we're going to decide which ones are going to stay and which ones are going to go. I have a little bit of everything. I've got some lip gloss, some liquid lips, some pencils, some bullets, creams, um, lipstick, chapstick, you name it, I've got it, and we're going to go through them all. So if you are interested in these kinds of videos, give it a thumbs up, stay tuned, and let's jump into it. And I'm just going to swatch them in front of the camera here. So I'm going to just start, I'm going to start with my favorite brand, is these Bites here. I have a whole bunch of the Bite lipsticks. We're just going to dig into these. First one I have here is in this shade Gazpacho, and I already know that this one is going to stay. It is my very favorite red. I absolutely love it, but I do want to go through and see if I have other reds that are similar that I want to get rid of. So Gazpacho, staying. And for the ones I'm keeping, I'm just going to put them in a bin that I have over here and kind of keep them organized. This is uh, therapeutic for me. I love decluttering and organizing, and it's been a kind of a rough week, so I thought I'd go through this and have some fun with it. And this shade here I have is Radish. Radish is a fuchsia pink. I'm going to kind of put my pinks down here so I can compare them. So if you can see Radish, I talked about this in my last video of Sentimental Makeup. This one's not going anywhere. Actually, I don't think any of my body lipsticks will go anywhere. I love them too much. And the next shade I have is Cashew. And this is the multi-stick. You can use these as blushes or eyeshadows or lips. I use these as lipsticks. It's a nice neutral coffee brown. I'm going to put my browns over here in the middle of my arm. This one's beautiful. It's staying. And they have a nice little magnetic cap. The next shade I have for Bite is Gelato. It's a nice pink color, a neutral pink. Pink mauve purple. It's not going anywhere, it's staying. It's a multi-stick too. Then I have these four little babies. I got these in either a birthday kit of some nature or a 100 point reward, it doesn't matter. I love all these, they're staying. I have rhubarb, gazpacho, which stays in my purse. So that guy's staying, because I usually put gazpacho on in the morning in the big tube, and then I use it in my purse to touch up. And then I have thistle in chai. Chai is a nice neutral brown color as well. Kind of a little mauve coffee color. I don't know, it's staying. I love it. Thistle is on the cooler purple tones. I, I don't know about thistle. I don't just love it. I'm probably going to get rid of this guy, so I'm going to place this over here. Rhubarb, one of my favorites as well. And it's kind of a, I'm going to put it into the neutrals here. That's what it swatches like there. It's going to stick too. Then I'm going to jump over to some luxury makeup. I have two Guerlain Kiss Kiss lipsticks. These are both going to stay. I love them too much. Uh, the first shade is in 320 Red Insulins, and it's just a nice neutral red color. It's really creamy. It's good for every day. It's staying. It's the first luxury lipstick I ever bought, so it's not going to go anywhere. Then I have this color Miss Kiss. Miss Kiss. And I actually picked this up at Winners. It was on sale for... $10. These are normally like $43. It's not going to go anywhere either. It's a nice pretty peach color. I love it. I just got this. I want to try it out some more, so I'm going to keep that as well. Um, Let's jump over to... Let's go to the Clinique section here. I've got three of these guys. As you know, for Clinique makeup, you get the green tubes as bonus or free perks. So I've got three of these. I don't wear them very often. They're not terrible. I just have other colors that I love better. The first one I have is Pink Spice. And this one's kind of more of a mauve neutral color as well. Uh, I'm on the fence about that one. I'm just going to throw this in over here and swatch the others. I have Shy. It's very similar to Rhubarb. So I think 
I might declutter this one. It's very similar to rhubarb. It's a maybe too. Think bronze. I have another color that's similar to this, but I think I prefer the think bronze. I'm gonna keep think bronze for sure. These I'm tossing in the maybe pile. Overwhelming. I have these Smashbox Be Legendary lipsticks. These are our nice cream bullet lipstick. I have the shade. Uh, what do we have here? First time matte and publicist matte. So this one is pretty bright. It's a nice like fuchsia color. And I'm going to place it down here with my other fuchsia. This is more on the purple side. I don't have anything like that, so I'm going to keep it. And then I have this nice neutral um, peach matte shade. Also very pretty. I think I'm going to keep this one as well. So these are, again, this is like going to be, be a mini declutter. I'm not going to get rid of tons of them. I'm kind of a hoarder when it comes to lipstick. But if I do have some shades that are super similar, I'm going to decide which one I want to get rid of. So I have these three Essence lipsticks. And these are from the drugstore. Essence, these were probably under $3. Um, they're pretty good for the price. Nice red color here. Um, it's in the shade On the Catwalk. And then I have this like fuchsia pink, kind of a neutral shade. This one is Wearberries. I kind of like Wearberries. And this one is Barely There. It's a neutral color. Um, let's match. It's so similar to the other neutrals that I have. Not sure about this one either. Uh, next, I have this Makeup Forever. It's a little mini. This little guy here. Got this in a, a kit of some nature or a reward point. Not sure. Rouge Artist Natural. It's a neutral color. I think I'm going to declutter this one. This one's going to go away too. I just have so many shades that are like all in the same color family that there's no reason to keep those so that guy will go next i have two of the elizabeth arden lipsticks i got both of these at winners i believe uh, which means they're discontinued i believe this formula i have the shade posy and the shade vintage red now vintage red is extremely similar to the guerlain shade that i had that i showed you that was in red insolence so this one is going to go it's probably old. I rarely use it, so it's got to go. It's time has passed. And then I have this one here that's in this frosty pink color. This is the shade Posy. Um, I don't wear this frosty pink color too much. I think that one's going to go as well. Then I have some randoms that I've just got thrown over here. They don't really have a home. They don't belong anywhere. They're just one-offs. This is the Givenchy. This is the um, color transforming lipstick. As you can see, it goes on clear and then it changes color to your pH temperature of your body. So on me, it pulls really purple. Um, I don't wear this very often. I really should get rid of it. It's pretty old. It was a hundred point perk. It's time to move on. Then I have this balm from L'Oreal. This is their la old formula of their lip balms. This is the color 219 Plush Pulp. Plush Palm. Goodness, try saying that four times fast. And it's a balmy, sheer purple color. I don't wear it. It's gonna go. Time to say goodbye. Then I have this Tristique. I got this in the Give Me Some New Lip Kit uh, from last season. It's a mini plumping lip balm lip treatment. I have never worn this. It smells really nice. I need to wear it. It's, it's a balm. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to get some use out of it. I really like it. I just don't know why I haven't worn it. Probably because I've just forgotten about it. Then I have this Tarte uh, Watermelon watermelon Amazonian Butter Lipstick. It's a nice summer spring color. It's this one right here. It's staying. I love it. They're really moisturizing. One of my faves. It's going to stay. Then I have these two from L'Oreal. These are the Infallible Lipsticks. I mentioned this in my drugstore favorites. These are really great lipsticks. They are long lasting, they're creamy, moisturizing, they have a nice um, shade of colors. 
I really enjoy this pink color here, Enduring Berry. It's similar to the other hot pink colors I have, but it's just a little more neon. I love it. It looks great on me, actually, so it's going to stay. Then I have this peachy, perpetual peach color. Love it, too. It's just beautiful. I'm keeping this one as well. Next, I have this one off of the YSL. This is in the um, color 01. It's just a beautiful red color. I'm not going to swatch this because it is broken. Um, it broke the very first day that I got it, so I don't use it very often. But it's so pretty. It looks great on my vanity. I'm going to keep it because I do try to wear it, so it's going to stay. Judge me if you will, but it's staying. Then I have my four Maybelline lipsticks that I mentioned in my drugstore favorites. I'm going to keep most of these. I'm going to keep the red. This is On Fire Red. It's a beautiful red color. I'll swatch it over here. Where do my reds go? I don't have another red that's like this, so it's going to stay also. Can you see that? It's more of a vivid red versus the other reds that I have that are more um, brick red. Then I have this color pink trooper it's a shimmery pink uh, i'm on the fence about this one i think i'm gonna get rid of this one and then i have the shade fuchsia flash oh, my husband bought this for me and i i don't know it doesn't look good on me it's so pretty when you swatch it but it doesn't look pretty on me i think i need to get rid of it and then i have almond rose this is a cult favorite neutral color um, it's not going to go anywhere. I love it too much. It's going to stay. So that one's staying. Moving on. I have a couple of Revlons. I have the shades Plum and Peach. This is just their standard Revlon formula. They're kind of nice because like you have a little window. So if they're in your um, lipstick holders, you can see what colors you have. The first one I have, I'm going to try out, is Plum here. haven't really worn these very much. Um, it's okay. It's a little sheer, but I haven't worn them, so I really need to try them. And then the shade um, Peach Parfait is similar to the other peaches I have. So, specifically the um, Infallible. Uh, and Think Bronze. I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to pass on that one. Eh. Decisions, decisions. Then I have a couple of um, just one-offs here. I have a Sephora lipstick. And this is in the color. I have no idea. It's a uh, purpley neutral color. I have tons of colors like this. Why did I buy this, guys? I don't know. <laughs> I think that one should go. Then I have this new, like... NYX lipstick in the color Darling and I don't have another pink like this so I decided to pick this up and try it out super pretty I think yeah this one's gonna stay Darling's gonna stay it's brand new I just bought it continuing on in the drugstore I have this Revlon lipstick here these are actually really lovely um this is the high def vineyard they're in the nice like stick formula but they're kind of a bullet it's a great like balance between the two. It's so pretty. I love this color so much. Actually, Emily Noel suggested this on YouTube, and I went out and picked one up to try, and I really love it. So thank you, Emily. Keeping this one. Um, next for one-offs, I have this one from Clinique. This is in the shade uh, Black Honey. This is like a cult favorite. I haven't actually really worn this. I got this as a perk. It's kind of sheer. Uh, it's more of a fall winter color. I don't know. I don't think it's going to look good on me. I'm going to put it in the past pile. I have this Tarte Amazonian Butter uh, lipstick. It's almost like used up. So I'm going to keep it. Continue using it. It stays in my purse. I'm going to keep this guy. It goes into my purse pile. But I did pull it out just because I wanted to show you. I have a ton of these sugar lipsticks. I'm going to keep all these. I'm not going to swatch them just for time's sake, but I got them in a kit. 
I love them all. I'm going to keep them. I think there's one that I should probably throw out. It's this one, I have a duplicate of it, and it's super old. Look how banged up it is from being in my purse. So that one's going to go, but I'm going to keep the rest of those. Good suggestion to pick those up. Um, next, I have these Elizabeth Arden lipsticks. I got this in another set. They're okay. They're not anything to write home about. Uh, let's go through and see what I have here. I think I have some similar shades. Pink Pucker. I don't mind pink pucker. It's kind of a matte pink color. Yeah, let's let's keep pink pucker. Next I have Barely There. It's kind of an orangey neutral shade. It's pretty too. I'm gonna keep it as well. I don't hate the color on those. And then I have the shade Iced Grape. It's so similar to every other mauve neutral shade that I have. I think it's time to part ways with this one. Next I have a NARS lipstick. I just got this in my Sephora haul. This is Orgasm. I haven't actually worn this yet. I've swatched it a couple of times. It's pretty light. That's uh, neutral. Nah, keep it. Try it out. We'll see. And I have this Tarte. This is the Lippy Lingerie. They're like in a little pencil with a little pop. Um, they screw up and down. This is a great fall winter shade. Super, super pretty. I'm going to keep this guy as well. Then I have the Hourglass. Just got this in the Sephora haul in that lip kit uh, Futurist. I've been wearing it and loving it. It's super pretty. I'm keeping that. Then I have the Sephora Coconut um, Lip Balm. I hate it. <laughs> it's going away. Don't save your money, guys, on these buy some chapstick from the drug drugstore. This isn't really worth it. Uh, $8 it could have spent somewhere else. NARS, I have this little uh, liquid matte lip in the color Bound. Uh, it's pretty, it's neutral. Again, purpley mauve colors. I seem to just lean towards those. I don't hate it. It's gonna stay. Use it up. It's so easy to use up the little guys, so I'm gonna keep that. Uh, next I have this Makeup Forever Icona. Uh, lipstick Artist Rouge Matte and it's like in a metal tube. I got this at winter, shockingly, and it's a pretty red. It's almost like a brick red. I do like it. I'm going to keep it. I haven't really worn it, so I need to try it out more. It's super pretty. Um, Elf mentioned this in my drugstore favorites. This one's gonna stay. This is in Ravishing Rose. Super pretty. It's matte. I love it. It's staying. Then I have two guys that I pulled from my purse just to show you. I'm going to keep both of these. I have the Burt's Bees. Uh, this is in Peony. Love these. Um, they're great on the go. Moisturizing. Better than buying one of these. And then I have the Buxom. This is in White Russian. It smells great. It's in my purse. It's staying. That goes back in the purse pile. Then I have the two Tarte lipsticks, which I mentioned in my Tarte. Uh, brand review. I have the color Top Down and Happy. These are both staying, but I am going to swatch them just so I can compare them to other colors that I have. So we're going to swatch Happy. Gosh, Happy is so pretty. I love it. Why do I not wear this more? What is wrong with me? Um, and this is Top Down. It's a nice corally color. The thing about these is there's not a lot of product in them, and this one is kind of broken. See, I just... I pushed it up too high. Okay, well, we're going to have to just work with that and hope that it doesn't break. Ugh. They're too creamy and they break easily. That's my complaint about those. I have the Smashbox Liquid Lip. This is one of the metallic, always on metallic matte. I love their always on liquid lipsticks. I don't like this color. It came in a kit. It's too metallic -y for me. It's going to go. Um, it literally looks like a Sharpie marker. It's so metallic. I It's bronze. I hate it. It's gonna go. Uh, next I have a Lime Crime, Lime Crime Velveteen. This is in the color Buffy. I bought this at Winners and yes I bought it just for the name Buffy because I'm a huge Buffy the Vampire Slayer fan. Judge me if you will but it's a liquid lip. It smells really good. Uh, I've worn this a few times. It's neutral love it. It stays on all day. It looks really pretty. I love it. It's gonna stay. Next I have this Buxom. I, these came in a kit. This is the color Mistress. It's like like a bubblegum pink. 
I don't hate it. I wear it usually over um, a lip topper. I use a lip topper over it usually, so that helps. Then I have this color Hooligan from Buxom. Again, with my mauve purple colors. This one's so little, it's almost used up. I should keep both of these, use them up. I'd hate to just throw them out when they're almost done, so. Juicy Shaker from Lancome. I hate these. I don't know. I just really do. Uh, Boomerang is the one I have. And you just like shake it up. They're not pigmented. They're lip oils. They have this little um, sponge applicator here. These are so greasy. I hate them. It's, it's going to go away. I just hung on to it. I don't know why. Next I have these four Kat Von D lipsticks. I have the colors Outlaw, Lovecraft, in a big one and a Lovecraft in a mini. Lovecraft in a mini, uh, it lives in my purse. It's gonna stay. I love Lovecraft, so is the big guy. It's, if you've never seen Lovecraft, it's a really nice uh, mauve neutral matte shade. It suits any skin tone, really pretty. Wolf's Mouth, I got this on like a discount, I think. It was on sale. It's a nice dark, purple color. It's great for fall. I really like it. I've gotten a few compliments when I've worn it. Then this color Outlaw. My husband bought this for me for Valentine's Day. It's a really pretty red. It's a brighter red. I wore it yesterday. I love it. It's so pretty. Staying. And this is her new formula. Really creamy. Get some of the However, for me, that's all I'm going to do is um, use up the Kat Von D's. I'm not going to buy any more. So, uh, Burt's Bees, I mentioned this in my drugstore video. I have the color Blush and I have the color Ruby Ripple. These are creamy. Um, this Ruby Ripple is a brick red. It's pretty. It's moisturizing. It's going to stay. I don't have anything like that red. And then Blush is one of my favorite lipsticks. It's not going to go anywhere. It looks really nice on me, so I'm going to keep Blush as well. Those are guys are staying. Then I bought two new lipsticks today. I got these MAC. These are my only MAC lipsticks, you guys. This is my first time ever buying MAC lipstick. So I'm going to open them for you guys. Just open them up. I got the uh, Proud to be Canadian. That's what the packaging looks like. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to keep the package because it's so uh, Proud to be Canadian. This is the first time I've ever opened it. Oh, it's so pretty. It's a red. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to wear this on Canada Day. Look at that. I'm so happy to have this. I've been wanting it for a while. So this, you betcha it's staying. So excited about it. And I chose Fanfare. Fanfare is more of a, a peachy pink neutral. Look at that. So pretty. Love it. Beautiful. So you betcha that one's staying too. And last but not least, my Guerlain lipstick. Uh, this guy's not going anywhere. I talked about it in my sentimental makeup. It's staying. And again, uh, if you didn't watch that video, it's just a nice pink, um, bright pink, wearable, everyday shade. It's staying. It's going to be a long video, guys. Okay, I have all these Marc Jacobs uh, lip glosses. These are new. I'm not going to swatch them all because of time. I have two Sugar Sugars, a nice purple and peach. These are all staying. Uh, one of these Marc Jacobs lives in my purse. It's going to stay in my purse pile. Then I've got this Buxom. I haven't had a chance to try it out yet. Um, this is from the lip kit. I'm going to keep this. This is in the shade Sugar. It's staying. All my Anastasia glosses are staying. Anastasia lip glosses are my favorite formula of lip gloss. So these guys aren't going anywhere. Anastasia. I only have one of the liquid lipstick. It's in the shade Soft Lilac. I got this at Winners, honestly. Um, it's pretty good. I'm loving the formula of them. It's really opaque and beautiful. It lasts a long time. It dries down darker than it is, which is typical. I've heard for these Anastasia liquid lips. It's staying. I like that color. I have the Bite Prismatic Pearl in the shade Rose Pearl. This is a lip topper. I love this so much. It is also going to stay. So, not going anywhere either. I have Marvelous Moxie Bare Minerals Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Trailblazer. Oh, they smell like heaven. They smell like dessert. Me and my smells, right? It's a peach lip gloss. It's the only one I have like this, so it's staying. 
um, Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick. I hate this. <laughs> it's in the color Trivial. I got this in a lip kit. I thought I was going to love it. I was so excited about it. I'll give you a review later on these, but I hate it. It's going. Smashbox. This is the new one that I got in that uh, Give Me Some Nude Lip Kit. I'm loving this so much. I'm so happy to have this. It has been really pretty. I've been wearing it all week. Keeping it not in that guy. Uh, this Huda Beauty, this is the lip topper. I usually wear it over that buxom bubblegum pink color that I have. It looks really pretty on. It's not something you would wear on its own. It's a lip topper. Love this. It's staying. Then I have two Laura Mercier. These aren't liquid lipsticks. They're more like a cross between a lip gloss and a lipstick. I love both of these. Um, especially this one here in uh, Nude Rose. Love that one. It's staying too. Then I've got this guy. This one's so bright. I get compliments when I wear it, but goodness, I have to be in a very vibrant mood to wear it. This is in the shade Fuchsia Mauve. I love both these. I'm going to keep them. They're getting a little old, so I need to start really using Next, I have this Vice Special Effects. This is the one I just got. I'm on the fence about this one. It's a lip topper. I will keep it and try it out, but it's probably going to end up in a dew cutter. I'm not a fan of the Vice liquid lips, honestly. Uh, another Marc Jacobs lips, lip gloss. It's going to stay. I don't know how it made it in that pile, but these two from Elizabeth Arden. Um, this gold color and purple color. I know I hate these. They're going away. I actually put them aside because I didn't want to keep them. They're lip toppers. I hate them. They're gonna, yeah. See ya. Laura Mercier lip gloss. Tulip. One of my absolute favorite lip glosses. This and the Anastasia favorites. Oh, it smells like heaven too. Um, it's pink. It's pretty opaque for a lip gloss. I love it. Oh, it's so pretty. Interesting. Next, I have these lip pencils. I'm just going to go through these real quick because I have so many. I'm going to tell you which ones I absolutely love. Marc Jacobs. These guys are beautiful. This is the new formula that he just came out with a few months ago. I have the color uh, Night Moths. It's a neutral purple color. God, this thing's beautiful. Love it. This whole formula is it's just so stunning. And then I have this guy here. This is bright. Uh, this is, oh, Flamboy. So pretty. Keeping, love them. It's not going anywhere. I got these nude sticks. Um, I have the shade. I don't know what the shades are. These Purity and Royal. I really like both of these. I actually use these more of as like a lip liner. And then I use a color to fill over. So that was Royal and that's Purity. I love them both. I really like the formula in these, so they're staying. Then the NARS Cruella. And I don't know the shade on this one, but it's similar to the Purity shade that I just showed you. It's a little lighter. I love both of these. Cruella is one of my favorites. It's uh, been loved quite a bit. It's similar to the Nude Sticks one, but this one's a little more darker. Keeping them both. I got these. NARS in a in the Man Ray and I have never worn any of these. I think I'm going to get rid of the two golder shades and keep the darker and the lighter. I just don't I like the Smashbox one. I just don't use these silvery metallic shades. Bronzy, silver, yeah, they just look terrible on me. So I'm gonna keep these two. Get rid of the bronzy ones. They're gone. I have another uh, NARS uh, lip pencil. This guy's going to go back in my purse. It's uh, one of these shades here, but I just have a duplicate of it and it stays in my purse. Urban Decay um, Super Saturated Lip Pencil. This is the color Scandal. This is my favorite lip product of all time. It's discontinued. It's old, but I love it so much that I'm going to keep it because I actually still wear it. And it's the same shade as Radish. This is just more shimmery and this is more long lasting. So actually, Radish was purchased for me by my husband, so that's keep that's staying, and this is staying because I just love the formula so much. So, And then I have this Bite uh, lip pencil. I don't have the shade Amarone. These were on sale recently, and I picked them up. This is a purpley um, mauve color. 
bite lip pencils are great then I have another one in the shade heritage and they're creamy it's similar to that color but it's a little different so I'm going to keep them because I love them both they both look different on me they swatch similar but this came in the birthday kit this is the shade glacé neutral it goes on me darker than it swatches I love it it's staying too it's gonna go in my purse then I have this Clinique um, ch chubby stick and this is the shade mega melon it's pretty neutral as well wearable creamy moisturizing love this too it's gonna stay so that's all my lipsticks guys that's a hundred and nine of them I'm getting rid of about 25 here pretty good actually so thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next video bye everyone mm -hmm.